YouTube. I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial on flower crowns. Yay! Okay, so they are for 18 inch dolls, like um, American Girl dolls, whatever other dolls are 18 inch, yeah, my generation dolls. And then they can also be for clips or if they're into that sort of thing, pines. Which is not entirely reprimandable. I mean, you know, boys can wear flower crowns. But instead of judging you on having your tying wear a flower crown, I'm going to get started with this tutorial. So yeah. Some basic supplies. Scissors. Yarn. You actually don't have to have yarn. You can also have elastic cord, which is more convenient because it's stretchy. Um, but if you were to use yarn, I would advise about a foot and a half in length. Um, with elastic cord, I would just measure it the same, and we're going to cut it later. Oh, we're also going to cut the yarn later, so a foot and a half of both. And lastly, almost lastly, a needle with a big eye. And, of course, your fake flowers. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to want to thread your needle with your whatever material you're using. I am using my stitchy stuff, my stretchy stuff, so you probably can't see it. Sorry, bad quality. Um, and then once it's like that, you're going to... Okay, so see how your flowers have a hole in the middle? If they don't... You need to take off the stems and take out the middles until it has a hole in the middle, just like this. And then, once you have all those, it doesn't matter if they're like this, they'll come together later. So we're going to go boom, boom, and thread it up. So just keep threading them. And if you do it correctly, you will have a beautiful flower crown and like it takes like three minutes honestly it takes three minutes of your time basically I already did this so I have this right now oh um yeah so once you have all of them all thread on there you don't need the needle anymore so you can take it off the scissors you just needed for cutting I think I already explained that and just because I'm going to prove to you that I don't care if your tying or pull-up is wearing it. I'm going to put it on my tying because I'm swaggy. So you have this, and then you basically tie it. It's not as hard as the people on Etsy and Instagram who are selling them make it out to be. Like, seriously. And then just tie it in a double knot because... Actually, if it's yarn, tie it in a bow. If it's yarn, tie it in a bow. Bow, 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 bows before, bows before bros, ladies. Bows before bros. Unless you already have a boyfriend, then kudos to you. You did what I cannot. But if you're 12 and you have a boyfriend, I'm sorry. I just, I just, I can't condone that. Honestly. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm having trouble tying this. Ha 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 ha! Tied it. Okay, so ha! Huh, look at that. I tied it, and the flower crown looks beautiful. And then, if you have elastic, and you tied it in a double knot, cut this, and it will be able to stretch around any doll. If you have yarn, tie it in a bow, and call it good. Call it a day. Say hooray! I made it. I am so swag. Go ahead and tell it to yourself. Tell yourself that you are so swag. Haha, ha, so here we have our flower crown on our tying. Haha, <laughs> this is Ethan. He says hello. So yeah, that is our tutorial on how to make a flower crown. And I want to prove one more thing to you, so I'm going to take it off him. This is how it looks. It looks kind of lifeless. And then we're going to put on lovely Miss Rowena to prove to you that it doesn't matter what size of head your doll has. You know tyings and pull-ups don't have that big of a head of difference. Pull-ups and American Girl dolls don't either. So, ta-da! 
flower crown works on anything. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope your flower crown is swagalicious. Peace on earth, goodwill towards men and women and doll collectors.